Assembly size is one characteristic of a country's political institutions that's rarely mentioned. That's disappointing because assembly size influences the politics of a country in subtle ways. Assembly size is just the number of members of a legislature. In this example, 25. Where a legislature has two chambers, most references to assembly size are references to the size of the lower chamber. Assembly size can vary hugely across systems, usually in response to differences in population. One rough rule of thumb is that the size of the assembly, which I'll refer to as S, is proportional to the cube root of a country's population, or P. This is known as the cube root rule. We can, of course, flip that around and say that if you take assembly size and cube it, you should get the population of that country. So that, if a legislature has 100 members, we should expect the country's population to be around 1 million. To give some concrete examples, one of the world's smallest legislatures is found in Tuvalu. The parliament there has just 16 members. The world's largest legislature is the Chinese National People's Congress, with almost 3,000 members, far more than the cube root rule would suggest. One article suggests that if we ever turned the United Nations General Assembly into a genuinely representative chamber, we'd need around 2,000 members. Assembly size is often fixed in the constitution of a country. Roughly half of written constitutions do this. But assembly size can change over time, or even as the result of an election. In some mixed-member electoral systems, the number of seats in the legislature can change if it's necessary to ensure that parties' seat shares are roughly proportional to their share of the vote. But, for the most part, assembly size is a relatively persistent characteristic of a country's political institutions and one worth knowing about.